I'm Darren with Action Esports, and this is Action Recap, the show where we highlight various stories ongoing within the esports community. To start things off, Old Spice, yes, the same brand known for their aggressive ad campaigns featuring the famous Terry Crews, has partnered with Blizzard to become an official sponsor of Overwatch Contenders North America. It's always somewhat refreshing to have a more non-traditional esports sponsor join the scene, and as Blizzard continues to expand their portfolio with more companies wanting to get in early into the Overwatch space. We can expect more brand announcements throughout the year and interesting promotional projects like the Access Granted series in collaboration with Toyota. Now for some roster news. Park architect Min Ho, the rising Genji star of South Korean Overwatch, who previously played for X6 Gaming and Grant Moth Espe from Toronto Esports Contenders team have been officially signed by the San Francisco Shock. The addition of the two new players bumps the starting lineup of the team up to 11 if you take into account the two players set to join the roster later this month. Jay Sinatra Juan will finally come of age on March 22nd and make his Overwatch League debut ahead of the league's third stage. Sinatra's talents were recognized from his time on Selfless despite being underage and was signed by the Shock in a reported $150,000 contract after a bid war between several interested teams. The Shock's other 17-year-old player, Matthew Super Delisi, will, be will become eligible to play with the team a few days later on March 28th and is similarly expected to join the team soon. Now, with the roster of 11, it is only natural for the Shock to be aiming to recruit one final member to reach the player cap and form a complete 12-man roster. As mentioned in our interview with their head coach, Brad Rajani, having a 12-man roster will allow the team to practice in a way they want to play during scrims without the risk of revealing too many weaknesses or strategies while also opening up the option to swap players in and out of the main roster depending on the needs of the team and meta. Now let's move on to our next story of the day. According to a report by Biz Journals, around 70 professional Counter-Strike Global Offensive players have apparently signed a member membership letter for the establishment of what will be known as the Counter-Strike Professional Players Association, or the CSPPA for short. The movement is being led by veteran esports pioneer Scott Sir Scoot Smith and Michael Doy, a labor attorney with a history of helping players within the industry seeking legal assistance. It's important to note that the players in the CSPPA are signing membership letters and not formal authorization cards that are needed to form a union under US law. Additionally, the goals of the CSPPA are unclear as the organization organization is still in the grassroots phase of gathering signatures, but according to Smith, there are already tournament organizers asking what players want to see during an event and expectations for a healthy working environment. The creation of a similar association for professional esports players in Overwatch is also underway. This effort is being led by Overwatch player turned coach Morte and Ellen Zavian, a veteran sports labor attorney with over 30 years of active experience slash a professor of sports law at George Washington University. Zavian indicated that she seeks to create a model in esports similar to those representing players in North America sports unions, such as the NFL Players Association or the MLB Players Association. Quote, I don't see this Players Association as any different than any other PA, just because it's esports. So this isn't something that will be a lighthearted step. This will be a big step. It's exciting to see the creation of these unions to help protect player rights and act as a resource for young players to turn to in a time of need when they may be at odds with their own team. There are too many cases of players not being paid or those who sign unfair contracts as a result of failing to read the fine print thoroughly as organizations have traditionally held the most power at the negotiation table and many young players just want to sign as quickly as possible before the spot on a team could potentially be given to another candidate. One of the first priorities of all player associations, whether it be Overwatch, CSGO, or League of Legends, should be the standardization of the team contract specific to each esports title in order to make them more player friendly. And now, here's Action Esports Adam Nail with an interview from the Overwatch League. Take it away, Adam. First of all, Big Goose, congratulations on an amazing 3-1 victory over London Spitfire. So tell me, how are you feeling taking down the top team from last stage? Mm, feels really good. Uh, I think our team performed really well and today was an important, important match for us. Awesome. So recently you brought, into, uh, you brought Fissure into the team and you guys are looking really strong with him. What's it been like uh, developing that synergy with him and incorporating him into the Gladiators team? That's been kind of hard at the beginning, but it has been getting better over time. But I think Fisher adds a really good dynamic to the team. Awesome. Um, as of now, you're 4 2, and the only Korean roster you have left to face is New York. How are you feeling about that matchup? Mm, we don't play New York this stage, but I'm really looking forward to playing New York. Yeah. Possibly in the stage playoffs. All right. Excellent. And. 
after everything that we've seen from stage two, you guys are becoming quickly a, a favorite to to go into stage finals. What do you think your chances are to come out on top this stage? Mm, I think we have relatively good chances. If we keep doing the same as we have been doing the start of this stage, I think we are making the stage playoffs. Awesome. Because thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And with that, that's all for this installment of Action Recap. If you enjoy our content, check out our website at actionesports.com to stay up to date on the latest matches, highlights, and more from scores, match history, and specific game info we've got you covered for all things Overwatch Esports. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out our channel for more action-packed content. Also, like and share this video, and click the subscribe button to join our notification squad. Thanks for watching.